New stage added to target target. I think I have my final party, so I'm not too concerned. There are probably chests, chests back there, but what I've. You guys aggressive? No. Okay. How about you guys? Are you aggressive? Looks like, uh, oh, these look pretty peaceful. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Nia, do you, um, mind? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. You're just so warm. I can't help it. It's a function of what's known as infrared radiation. Gramps knows everything. I'm not your personal heater, you know? M my lady. If you desire warmth, why not take some from me? Miss Spiral seems to be in some distress. No way. Your fur is all stiff and spiky with a cold. It'd be murder on my sensitive skin. But, my lady. Hey, is it just me, or are the ether lines really dim? What is meaning of ether lines? You know, those things, the glowing threads that run inside a titan. That is the glow of pure ether coursing through the Titan's body. You can compare it to the bloodstream of a human. You've got good eyes. Genbu has pretty bad circulation compared to other Titans. They say it's why we have a cold climate and awful crops. So it's... cold-blooded? Call it what you like. Cold blooded. How about you? You aggressive? Now that one's probably going to be aggressive up ahead. This guy right here. And even if he isn't, he needs to die. He's a big one. the lightning bolt in time. I 
Take this knee to light yeah. it. Rolling smash. No, I, I just want you to hurt. Just like you just What? I sense great I see this. Hey, Jake, no one can be my sword. Blame. Blame Bobo. Third stage. Boom. Focused. Don't you worry, Gramps. Jailer's got some ready. real potential. Ah, uh, there is something that I need to check up on, and that is that we don't have a single single character that does launch. I need to do that. I haven't done arts enhancing in quite some time either. Do we have launch? We do. Power swipe. That means I can do launch now. Because this character has launch. What's this bold tackle business? Charges arts used by 50% upon landing a critical hit with bold tackle. Strong smash. Range circle. No. Axe twist is range circle. Actually, I'd rather have bold tackle here. And... We can do launch here so that we can then do slam here. This is damage dealt to toppled enemies by 100%. Yep. 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 This is all good. There you go. I fixed it. I could also. I'd also like more people to have it though. So you're running this and this. Does this have launch? No. So this one has launch. You need to use Comet Punch more often. It's your fault. Use Comet Punch. God damn it gonna upgrade it use comet punch and you also have break in one of these right now you have break in your in these things yeah we need break how about you what you got what you got azure to blaze azure to hellfire judgment physical ahead ether these two are ahead this is good blaze and radiance they don't really do much. This one's ether, this one's physical. This one adds break. Uh, what? What is, what's the deal with this one? Evade enemy attacks during driver arts. Nah, fuck that. Uh, actually... No, I'll take break. I'll take break. She'll just tank it. She'll tank it! She can do it! How about hammers? What we got here? Decimator. Increases damage dealt to launch enemies. We don't care about that shit. Increases damage dealt to topple shore. This one deals 300 damage, though. But this one's AoE. This one topples. So no, we'll keep uh, stuff as it is here. And we will want... I definitely would like to upgrade this one, so I'll, I should wait. And I'm going to wait and upgrade this one. The battle top. And that does it. Let's go. Come out, come out. Flora heals an aching soul. Avatar blade. Cloud sea is just water. It's kind of like water. These wolves probably don't like us. I'm going all in. I will sure on this Maybe we'll get out of this life. Like now! Like it up! Yes! Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. 
Do it quick, do it quick, do it quick, do it. Oh, there's another one. There's no freezing why it's regular arts. Aqua What the hell? These guys just don't give up. But wait, there's more. <laughs> See, that's why I wanted more launches. Because now I can just slam them down. I don't actually think these guys were aggressive. Are they? Oh, they're pretty peaceful. I just killed one of them. Slaughtered him. That was wrong. I wonder what's in here. Shouldn't there be something up there? Come out, come out. When did it get so late? Don't worry. I'll protect you from the scary dark. Scary dark. You gonna protect me, Mithra? Mithra, please. The game that keeps on giving. Hey, look what I found! Congratulations! Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is hands down the game that just keeps on giving. Hey, did the mercs come back? Uh, didn't I, I didn't send them? Oh, I ended up not sending them because I was busy upgrading stuff. Uh, you fucked up, Rurikan. You fucked up. Congratulations. Yuraya. These rare ones have the skills required. I imagine I'll 
fit right in. He's got mineralogy. We need earth. Let's look at all the earth ones. Seriously, none of the earth ones have skills? Looks like no. I vow to carry out my sworn duty. My sworn duty. I guess we'll just have to take some wind ones then. We need another earth, so... I imagine I still love right in. So we need a male earth to round out the party. This guy, right here. This guy, right here. What's the plan, boss? What's the plan, boss? Alright, where are we at? I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Good luck! Just remember to have fun. Hey, we're doing Uriah. There's one more quest in there. Shipping lanes closed. We need e great axes and ether cannons. In that case, let's go to weapon class. Start the great axe category. I mean, this guy could lead them. Well, we have... One of the great axes with salvage mastery, so... Sure! Go on! And another great axe that is an expeditionist. Now let's go look at the ether cannons. Expeditionist. The job properly. Industry I mastery. So now we'd want another ether cannon. I'll finish the job. And one more axe, dude. This I won't let you down. All right, where are we at? I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just remember to have fun. is the very picture of the ancient civilizations I've read about. It's a pretty classic look. You know the old land of Torna? They had a proud and noble civilization, rivaled only by Judicium at the time. But, whereas Judicium were the masters of biological arts, Tornans knew all there was to know about engineering. The proud blood of Torna Runs in the veins of us, Tantalese. As there are people to pass it on to, civilization will endure. Knowledge is inherited, much like life itself. Nice quote. You should write that down. Thank you. It's not that simple, though. Huh? You'll see. Gained a new memory. More shops for me to spend money in. Pretty lively market. 
It's the black market. Racist. Black market. Tantal is so cold. There's precious little in the way of local produce to sell. Just look. All the regular shops are shuttered. You're right. They're mostly empty. Instead, folks pay ungodly prices for produce that's been smuggled in from other nations. And since it's the only thing keeping people from actually starving, the bigwigs just turn a blind eye. So most of the agricultural production is wasted just surviving, and the country grows weak. Exactly. So even the wisdom of a proud ancient civilization cannot solve all problems. Ancient civilization sounds good and all, but basically, this place is a giant museum with no tourists. That's not going to feed anyone. That means all the prices here are going to be forbiddenly expensive. Or so I would expect. Yay, side quests! I'll get to those. Uh, I should pick them up though, because I tend to forget about them. Canadia! Okay, I need to go kill a bunch of dudes. She's a liar. Filthy liar. Saying she's about to help the world. He's not. Lying. We have been expecting you, your highness. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Is the old man inside? Indeed. He has been eagerly awaiting your return. Ha! <laughs> now I know you're lying. Armus will fly before that man welcomes me home. No need to coddle me, mate. Apologies. Any case, seems he knows we're coming. That'll save time. world has many places. Could it be? Are you all right? Yes. Tora? Uh, but why? It true. I'll be able to produce own reserves of ether energy, but... I'll explain later. For now, just do as I ask. All right, then. Leave it to Tora! Aegis, I presume. Uh -huh. huh? God, my lady. Meme, what the hell is going on? Shall I? No, no idea. Stop this at once. Damn. Let it go! Pyra! Pyra! Stop this, man! 
madness! What's going on? Rex and his lot haven't done anything! We cannot afford to wait until they do, Zeke. The world must not be allowed to burn! The Aegis must be destroyed. Oh, no, you don't. Dromak, let's get Rex out of there. Roger. The ether energy. My lady! Please do not resist. My goal is only to destroy the Aegis. I have no wish to take your lives also. King Eulogimenos, I stand before you as a special envoy of Morardain. The Emperor sent me here himself. Do you realize what you are doing? I am quite aware and prepared to face the consequences. Prepared? I see you still speak like a commoner. What's that got to do with anything? Don't change the subject! What if I told you I act for justice? What are you trying to say? You could say, I'm doing this for Ulrest. Say what now? Follow me. This is... This is the legacy of our royal line. You can't be serious! Why? Father, why? It appears the flow of ether energy is being blocked off. Damn it! While we're doing this, Pyra is... We have to do something! There is no point, Rex. You're just wasting your strength. Both the walls and floor are built to withstand great force. We cannot make a dent in them. Let's calm down a bit, Rex. If we think calmly, we'll come up with something. <coughs> hey, you lot! Can you try to help us out here? Your efforts are pointless. The way they built this place, it's essentially one giant stasis web. Stasis web? Like those nets used in Torigoth. To lock drivers up together with their blades, and even leave us our weapons? They must have the utmost confidence. Perhaps we could break through given enough time. But by then it will be too late and the Aegis will be disposed of. Disposed of? That's all the more reason you should give us a bloody hand. I said it's pointless. <sighs> we won't get anywhere. With brute force, that is. Huh? So what now, my prince? This pisses me right off. Uh, say what? I said I'm pissed off. Doing it for the world, my ass. How self-serving can you get? How do you mean? This country's strangling itself to death with its own web of lies and excuses. But just maybe our chum could break it free. Rex could? No faith, eh? 
Hey, whatever. If you believe in him, my prince, I'm with you all the way. That kid's heart is pure. Too pure for his own good, sometimes. But isn't it our duty as adults to give him a little help with that? Probably. You know, this is what I like about you. This won't be easy. Oh, quit it with your drama! When is anything ever easy for you? <laughs> Let's go! Okay, that should do it. Preparations complete. Papi cutie pie. What's going on, Tora? Oh, ho, ho. both drivers and blades use ether energy to deploy arts. Yes. You can skip the lecture, Tora. Everyone knows that. But right now, friends cannot. Yes. Yeah. There's something about this room. Oh, ho, ho. but Rex, Rex, and friends forgetting one. Very important thing. Hurry up, would you? Just spit it out, Furball. Could be friends forgetting Poppy is artificial blade? Why would we forget that? She's been with us all this time. Wait, I get it. Haritha Furnace. Rex correct. Thanks to friend Morag, Poppy now able to generate own supply of ether energy. Nothing Barrier can do anything about. Tora transfer crystal from Sword of Morag to Biter of Poppy. That crystal have enough energy stored for one use of arts. And Biter of Poppy use Earth Element. So, through synergy with Fire Element of Morag, power of arts is amplified. If we hit it straight on, I doubt the door can withstand that. Wait a minute, you stored energy in that crystal. How is that possible with a barrier? Aha! Lady Morag has not used a single art since we arrived in this place. What? I had my suspicions ever since we entered the palace. So, I secretly asked Tora to refrain from using any arts either. Whoa-ho-ho-ho! I see now. If our enemy's new poppy retains her power inside the barrier, they would keep us on a tighter leash. Exactly. Here goes. Step back. Hold up! If you transferred the crystal from the sword, what will you fight with? I can generate a new one from Bridget's core. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't know about that. What? Seriously, you don't even know how blade weapons work. Give me a break. Hey, I deal more how damage than all y'all. Would I know something like that? I've never lost or broken my weapon. Then I suppose I cannot blame you. Moving along then. Tora, Poppy, please. With pleasure. Poppy power! Jet fighter! the best you made quite some noise too it won't be long before the guards arrive good good point <laughs> lady pyra was taken below mayhap somewhere beneath the palace got it Can I exclude Rex? Huh! Wasn't aware that I could just exclude Rex. Not that I intend on doing that, mind you. But interesting. Who am I gonna put in her place? We're gonna need a fire blade, a good one. Of which I have none. I have a wind blade and two earth blades that are rare. Everything else... 
They just don't have good attack values. That's the problem. Well, I mean, more eggs got fire. Fuck it. It sounds fun. Rock, pleased to meet you. It's gonna go double rock. Hey fuckers. This will be a walk in the park. How you guys doing? Do not Nobody expects the Ardanian Inquisition. Zeke! Pandoria! Oh, what? We came all this way to bust you out! How inconsiderate! You kept us waiting. Won't you get in trouble for helping us? Oh, I'm the prodigal son, anyhow. It can't get any worse. Where's Pyra? This way. Follow us. Get us to Pyra. I kind of want to play as Zeke. Problem is, I'm only gonna have lightning if I do that, because I didn't put any cores in his blades and I don't intend to. What does Pandoria have for a core? Oh, we can give her a Laudronite chip. Where did I even get that Laudronite chip? What the frack? Well, her base chip is actually pretty good. So I can just use her as is. Let's actually take Pan uh, Zeke out. We've never used Zeke. Gonna make him a righteous beast. I also haven't put any cores on Pandoria. Jesus Christ, Pandoria can have three cores? What the fuck? That's fucked up. How can she have three cores? I have no idea what I would put on her. around 
this. Let's go then. I'm just gonna pretend no one ah. said anything. Now we're ah. just Roger's Thunder! Now! Yes! Oh, no! My death from yes. armor fails! Oh. 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 We, we, can, we can do it! Oh. 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 The is out! Oh. 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 We shall oh. not lose! I actually don't like this move set all that much. Oh, looks like her lock picking increases though. That's important. I need to develop her skills. A new locale. I've gained a new memory. Looks like I won't even have to use the Eye of Shining Justice. Do not underestimate them. Drawing power to the max. It's useless to resist that. No! Get back! I want that. Try to deny the use of things in the horse. Wind hell down. Red Tiger! Too slow! This is unexpected. Jesus, his attacks are just like so over the top. I hear those workers in the dark. I am the other. Let us make use of it now. Jesus Christ. I won't let you. Yes, you have my sight. We shall not lose. I see you. Dude, the AOE damage on this guy is insane. What's in here? Money, money, money. Engine chip. Sounds like a good chip. Looks like I was gonna say we can bypass those two, but we actually can't. But what's down through here? What are you boys guarding? Let's go lasers off for the guy's sword. Like 
Eventually, have to come back here and steal all the treasure. Need to level up our lock picking, though. Let's go then. I just got a chance. Right up, right up. Right up. That's the stuff. Great speed. That skill is so cool. Not everyone has the potential to have blades. What? Ow, 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 ow. You all right? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Honestly, though, chum, are you ever not getting scratched up? Ever since Pyra gave me half a life force, and we swore to reach Elysium, things have been rough. But... I'm actually glad. They feel like a sign of our bond, I guess. Something special we share as driver and blade. Wait, let's swap something. Wow. Okay. Increase damage dealt to topple and crest uh, reaction blow down circle 480. Uh. Knock back. I think I'd rather have that. This one's the laser, right? Thunder beam? Okay. I'm gonna move this one here. I want to increase this one because I like this one. As a matter of fact, I want to move it over here. I'll leave the stratospheric thunder in the end. We're gonna max out the motherfucking thunder beam! Thunder beam! Stratospheric thunder! Fuck it, like that. Let's go, Zeke. Looks like we've been rubbled. Yeah. Here I go. Yeah. Right, check this out. Here it comes. What a beast! <laughs> Motherfucker's the king of AOE. Oh, 
Zika Nato. This blade is ridiculous. I just realized Morag was the only one that didn't get to level up. up in some kind of restraint look ahead uh. that looks like a big Another cannon accelerator <clears throat> I've seen one like it before in old Torna it certainly seems like they want us gone for good so if we crank up the output and really focused it we could probably manage one strike if the people here really are the descendants of the Tornans, then I have a message for them that I must pass on. In that case, I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Mithra. He's here. I apologize for this, noble Aegis. I have no personal grievance with you. However, for the sake of this world, you must be destroyed where you stand. Is that truly your desire, your majesty? I believe you desired the same thing yourself once. Is that not why you disappeared from history, along with Adam the hero? <laughs> Begin. Ether Accelerator. The what now? It's a weapon from long ago, designed to use Genbu's ether energy for destruction. I never dreamed they'd fully restore it. My old man, he's gonna use it to kill Pyra. No matter how strong she is, there'd be no coming back from that. In that case, we can't let him use it. It's three guards, come on. What are they gonna do? Die. Let's go then. Let's go. Line them up. Line them up. That's Line them up. God damn it, stop moving. Oh, 
Yeah, the beam attack is beast. Ah, there's too many of them. Hurry, or pirates toast. I know that. It's just. Forgive me. Damn it, Pyra! I won't let you. It's not enough! Poppy! Activate QT mode! Lift them from below! Understood, Master Pie! It's gonna pierce right through the Titan. Five hundred years. For five hundred years, we Tantalese have concealed the Omega Fetter. Do you know why? Um. Our old homeland, Torna, was destroyed in the Aegis War. Our hero, Adam, also failed to return. You must understand. Old Torna as a country was united around the hero, but our ancestors less so. What are you saying? That we're not Adam's bloodline? Precisely. In Torna, our family were just a cadet branch. We only gained our current position in the confusion of the war's aftermath. But then we're just a bunch of usurpers! They were desperate times. We had no choice. The nation must continue at all costs. Even if it meant claiming Adam's name. With its guiding force gone, much blood was spilled in Torna. We did what had to be done to reunite it under the new banner of Tanta. Legends of the hero who saved the world are deeply ingrained in people's hearts. And you used them for your own political agenda. Even so, all was done in the name of saving the world from burning once more. Don't you dare try and sugarcoat it. Short story is, they saw an opportunity to gain influence and they took it. Gah! That is the way of the world. Mordain could easily take a similar path. 
Yes. We are in no position to condemn them outright. So did this Adam guy really never return? Indeed. The records indicate he went missing immediately after sealing away the Aegis. It is likely he simply perished during the journey home. He didn't just go missing. What did you say? Aegis? Adam. He had foreseen everything. He knew what would happen to the people after the kingdom fell. But he chose not to return. Adam left us of his own will. But why? Hear me, my science. I am Adam Origo. This day I seal the Aegis, away from the world. But this seal is not for eternity. In anticipation of the day that humanity becomes worthy of the Aegis's power, I entrust her to posterity. She is our hope. When mankind has matured and learned to live better lives, she will answer your call and return to you. Trusting that day will come, I leave my final wish to you. Adam foresaw much confusion and hardship in the world ahead. And when I seemed unsure, he told me something. This is a trial. Is me sleeping a part of the trial? That's right. It is a trial for us humans, one we must overcome ourselves. If we cannot do that, we don't deserve to live alongside you. Live alongside. To be honest, I still don't fully understand what he meant by that. Whether he simply meant the coexistence of humans and blades, or something more. But I think he made a difficult choice. For the sake of everyone's survival. Whoa. Poor nut. <clears throat> Your Majesty! What is this? It's Genbu! It's broken free of our control and started to dive into the clouds. What? Are you certain? <laughs> Pandy! What exactly is happening? Could it be that blast? What is he? Tantal keeps Genbu under control using the Omega Fetter. But firing the Ether Accelerator, it could have created a counterflow in Genbu's Ether Condiments, causing a critical overload. So Genbu's broken. Oh no! My words can't reach him anymore. Genbu is just going to dive deeper and deeper. Then... Dolo, git! That's what happens when you use antiquated parts. The cloud sea has a similar density to water. As we dive, the pressure will keep building. By 500 pets, a human would be crushed completely. And all that force will weigh down on Genbu? What's our depth now? 2,200 peds, sir. We are diving at a rate of 120 peds per minute. And Gembu's depth limit? 
25,000, give or take. That'll give us just over three hours. Whoa, Charlotte's good at maths. Bite me. This ain't good. Hey, jump. There's a pressure resistant pod in the palace's southern tower. You guys at least should get in and escape. What about you and everyone else? Don't worry about us. How can I possibly not worry about you? Isn't there any other way? Some way to save everyone? Only Pandoria can tell Genbu what to do. If it won't budge for her, it's no use. Apart from that, all we can do is try to evacuate as many people as we can. But with just three hours. I think you mentioned before, you control Genbu using the Omega Phone, right? Uh, yeah, but... Where is it? Inside Genbu's head. It's straight south from the palace, through Genbu's spinal column. I will go. You'll go? Pardon? What are you... The Omega Feather is originally Ophion's control core. And Ophion is my artifice. I can't be 100% sure, but I think I might be able to fix it. Pyra? Pyra being serious? They tried to kill Pyra one minute ago? That's a totally separate issue. Isn't that what you'd say, Rex? What? Oh, yeah. I guess it is. And that's why. Friend Pyra. Tora get it. Then Tora and Poppy also lend help. Looks like we're in too, Drumak. I would have it no other way. That's settled then. Stay out of our way, old man. Got it? You would all risk your lives for this. For the sake of Tantal, though we attempted to destroy the Aegis. It's not about Tantal. Then why? You're a king, right? You ought to be able to figure it out. Rex, you are... Morag? You leave me little choice. Zeke, where was the fetter again? How do we get there? I won't just tell you. I'll take you right to it. Zeke? Save it, old man. You better make a start on evacuating the people. Though with us on the case, your efforts are probably going to be wasted. Understood. No time for chit-chat. Let's go! Yeah! Still gonna have to open up blades for Zeke. Now the path the Omega Fetter Core is needed one of the city Theosiers positioned a long way above the Genbu Drifts. If you head out the palace and down to the left, you'll see the ruins of a palace, a place called Theospiti Temple. Okay. Head out of here to the left. I th there was only one path out of the palace. Time to swap blades. Oh, Pyro automatically gets added. She replaced the wrong blade. It sounds fun. I hope I'll live up to your expectations. Rock, please. Rock, Rock. What was the other thing that I wanted to check up on? Oh yeah, we need a we need to sleep. 
I know that Did this whole Titan is Hopefully dying and stuff, but news. we need to sleep. Because I just noticed that Morag hasn't leveled up yet. Where's the inn in this place? Watch them not have an inn available for us, because we're not supposed to sleep now. this place up can I buy the store can I buy the store feels bad man maybe I'll buy the fish stand how about that where's the inn could be over there right that looks like an inn how about, uh, blade chips? What you guys got? Engine chip, of which we have one. Jesus Christ! 445 increases the critical by quite a lot. It's the Laudronite chip. Okay. Although our current chip increases luck. What chip is that? Dude, this chip is a beast. Anyway, I don't want to like just spend a bunch of money on this. We're good. I just need... Is there an inn? Yes or no? Yes, there is. Good. Yeah, you, I know that you're just going to give me a Merc mission, so whatever. We just need to level up uh, more. I... Jesus. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Experience begets wisdom. Really? I'm still getting stronger. More, more strong now. My incredible power knows no bounds. My incredible power knows no bounds. I know it's a little bit immersion breaking, like, everybody's dying, the titan's sinking, and I'm just like, I need to take a nap. Okay, guys? Like, fuck your titan. I need some sleep. You certainly seem well rested. Good morning. Huh? And yes, 